Hey. Hi. <laughs> I'm, I am high. You want to know what's up? Here's what's up. I want to go to space. I said it. I meant it. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't. What? You want to know what's up? Since you asked, I want to go to space, ma'am. Like, if I won one of those do-what-the-fuck-ever-you-want sweepstakes, I'd be like, okay, I want to go to space. If someone was like, you do this job and I'll make it worth your while, I'd be like, okay, Heisenberg, I want to go to space. <laughs> then you can pull that off, you're so smart. Fucking meth Einstein, you going to drive me? It's a long drive. Hope you brought some of that blueberry meth because you're going to make it worth my while. <laughs> if I bought... One of those elegant bottles you see in Bloomingdale's and then pop the lid and instead of fucking Paco Rabani Invictus, it was a fucking genie. And they were all, here's three wishes, you lucky piece of shit. I'd be like, I only need one, boss. And you can go back to doing your thing. Just launch me into space, man. But don't be a dick about it, genie. I know there's a catch. Make it work right and we're cool is what I'd say. That's the whole thing. Got it rehearsed for such an occasion. Google... Paco Rabani Invictus and tell me there's not an ancient wish-authorizing deity in there. That or it's cursed ashes and I woke up a mummy or something. But you won't get any of this unless you Google Paco Rabani Invictus. You get it? Yeah, it looks like a trophy, but here's the thing. What if I'm right? Anyway, since you asked, here's what's up. Me. Or at least I'm trying to be. I'm sick of being here. Everybody's fucking mean and paranoid I can't get high enough to function. So fuck, man, I want to go to space. You can't ask people, how are you doing anymore? Because I already know the answer. Fucking horrible. Everything sucks, and you learn how to make bread. And that's awesome, Denise. But did you happen to learn how to start and maintain a space program? Because if you have not, I'm tuning out about halfway into your tale about looking for a new job. But good for you. You're going for it. I am just not car paying that DM because the DMs have been crap lately. <laughs> you can't just give people a good day because it's not. It hasn't been for years. Anybody wishes me a good day, I'm immediately sus because either you're being sarcastic or if murder documentaries have taught me anything, I'm going to be murdered soon. <laughs> Next person who says good day to me I'm gonna start a podcast episode right in front of them, to their face. You're like, you say good day to me, I'm gonna be like, it was evening, Tuesday, 5.45. Balmy September with winds shifting into fall. I was walking home from a jewel after gathering my necessary grocerial things. I didn't notice the person sauntering along the sidewalk, walking their schnauzer, unassuming, taking in the day, but they certainly noticed me. Casual glance, but it did mean something, something unassuming. And then they told me to have a good day. My name is Chad, and this is that dick who killed me. <laughs> so yeah, hey, hi, what's up? I wanna go to space. <laughs> Thankfully, there is a minor subgroup taxonomic phylum of humanity, very rare but proven to have evolved, that might make it possible for me to go to space, rich people. <laughs> the future is now. The space race is back. Only instead of America versus Russia swinging dicks in the cosmos, it's gone corporate. <laughs> space is a Starbucks now. We knew it would happen. I figured the day we colonize the moon, it's going to look, not look like they said in the books you got at the Scholastic Fair. With pod houses and tubes, everything looks like a fancy desk lamp. Nay, instead it's going to look like Clive, Iowa, Practical smart housing, insurance buildings on the horizon, and a sonic burger place in a field just there serving its purpose. <laughs> the International Space Station, or ISS if you want to sound cool at parties, is going to retire in 2030, which is nice, man. Good for them. Like, it's been hanging about 249 miles above Earth. That's approximate because I'm fucking ripped right now. Don't math me. Since 1998, so it's put in the hours, plus it looks like the back room of a floating office, Max. Now, space is normally a vacuum, 
At least that's what science says. And I'm more inclined to believe them because anybody who says otherwise thinks that the earth is flat, birds are fake, and space is an illusion sent by Jesus to fight lizards or something. Which is why I want to get the fuck off this rock in the first place. <laughs> but now it's a power vacuum. Because you know how it is when you retire. Some new kid is going to snag the spot and you're going to have almond milk in the break room and Jeff is going to have to get a Gmail account. Congrats, Jeff. Welcome to 2007. I know you miss your Netscape.net account, but it does not miss you. Has it called you? No. It's time to move on, man. It's Christmas for the billionaires because they're all into tech and space is their North Pole. On Elon, on Bezos, on Branson, on crypto billionaire Jed McCaleb, the orbital reef is Bezos' space station, and it promises to be a, quote, mixed-use business park. <laughs> Which means it's gonna smell like coffee and floor cleaner, but they got a Panera. <laughs> Axiom has the Axiom Space Station, which is as advertised, kinda like how Coors Banquets are beer-flavored beer. <laughs> Voyager Space, Nanorax, and Lockheed Martin are all in partnership to bring Star Lab to life, and they even got Hilton to work on the crew lodgings. Quote, for decades, discoveries in space have been positively impacting life on Earth, and now Hilton will have an opportunity to use this unique environment to improve the guest experience wherever people travel. And if the mock renderings of guests enjoying room service by the port side window and waking up in a galactic percale bedding are any indication, space is about to get lux. Now, we're a ways away from a W hotel stay in low Earth orbit because, like, Lavazza and gravity don't exist up there. But it's coming. And if you're like me, you can't wait to get the flying fuck off this multi-seasonal water park pirouetting into the oblivion, but it has HBO Max, so it's not that bad. There's the Space Perspective Spaceship Neptune, which looks like a Bluetooth doorknob. The Neptune will take civilians 20 miles above Earth via a balloon for a few hours, rotate a little bit, and you'll have some snacks and then drain the wet bar because the agoraphobia really kicks up in low Earth orbit. <laughs> and you can do all this for a beggarly $125,000 as soon as 2024. But I don't need fucking amenities. I just want to go to space, man. Because, like, what's up there? <laughs> It's got to be something wild up there in the nothingness. Even Nebraska is close to Colorado. <laughs> like, man. What, oh, my God. What if we meet aliens? Don't freak out. I got an itinerary for that. If I meet an alien, I'm going to give them mozzarella sticks. Because those are the best you got, Earthlings. There is literally nothing better than that. Fuck math. Oh my god, what if, um, what if we learn some like next level existence shit from like an eternal space brain whale or something? Like, what if the multiverse is real and it's actually cool to fuck with time? Like, like an ancient time being is like, oh, you thought messing with the timeline was a bad thing? No, go ahead, fuck with it. <laughs> Doesn't do a fucking thing except make work shit out for you, man. I mean, you haven't been fucking with your timeline? Gribzor, Gribzor, come here, get a load of this fucking guy. <laughs> Possibilities are literally endless. I saw the James Webb Instagram. Space is way bigger than my studio apartment, and you gotta worry about central air because there isn't even any. The race is on, humans, and I'm sick of the comment section. I'm tired of the traffic, and I'm over your shit. I don't care if breakfast is included. I want to check out. Space is the place, man. And fuck, if I'm not reaching for the stars every time I take a walk of shame at 5 a.m., Anyway, I'm high, because I can't go to space, because I don't have that kind of money, so I guess I'm just going to have to get ripped on Earth. I love you. My name is Chad, and I forgot what I was talking about. Yeah.